What's good, real cool people? It's your boy David, the real cool dude, coming at you with another movie review. First, hold up. Look at the lights. Look at your boy. Look at the chocolatey goodness. Hey, your boy coming up. Anyway, back to the review. Today, we will be reviewing The Meg. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Shark fin. Okay, so this movie is super anticipated by people. They're like, ooh, another big shark movie. Haven't had that since like The Shallows, which was all dark and gritty and pretty damn good if you ask me. But this is that summer romp. Is it going to be amazing? Is it going to be terrible? Who knows? I know. Well, let me tell you. It is definitely a summer romp, but it suffers from being a little too safe. And here's what I mean. There are sequences in this movie that could have really used more punch, perhaps maybe even an R rating, and it would have been phenomenal. But they're kind of lackluster. Jason Statham is great. I mean, it's, for the most part, the whole cast is solid in their roles. Even Rain Wilson, who I thought we were going to have to rein in a little bit. Ah! Uh, he was actually good. He was solid. He didn't go too over the top with it and make it too corny. Now, the CG, that's a little hit and miss. There are some sequences where the shark looks dope. And there are other sequences where I'm like... I could use a giant rubber animatronic right now. Speaking of giant rubber animatronics, let's talk about how much this movie took from Jaws. And no, 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 no. It wasn't like, oh, we're paying homage or homage to Jaws or, oh, you know, doesn't this remind you of Jaws? No, no, no. I mean, like, for real, if it was something where it was like, oh, oh, that kind of reminds me, and oh, that kind of reminds me, cool, but no, I'm talking beat for beat. There are, like, four or five sequences in this movie that are direct pulls from Jaws. And there were some times where this movie was a little tonally off. Sometimes it felt like it was just the summer romp film, and then sometimes it felt like it was trying to take itself seriously, and they didn't blend well together. A movie that's a great example of picking one and sticking with it is the modern Piranha remake. That movie was like, hey, we're going to be a B-level movie and we're just going to have a crap ton of fun. It's going to be gory. It's going to have a lot of like sexual content. It's just going to be over the top and they're going to go hard R. Honestly, that's what this movie needed. And, you know, they always say bigger is better. But in this case, I'm not so sure. You see, one of the things about Jaws that made it so powerful um, was the way that some of the attack sequences took place. I'm talking about the fact that you got really visceral with some of these attacks and it made you go, <gasps> oh, no. This shark is 70 feet in the Meg. So when you put a person who's swimming horizontally and you got this giant bite radius, it looks like it's like eating a potato chip. There's no real impact there when someone meets their demise. Overall, I felt like The Meg is a decent film. I personally still think The Shallows is the best shark movie we've had probably since Jaws, but Deep Blue Sea still has a very special place in my heart. My head is like a shark's fin. But my biggest note to you, the real cool people, is to go into this movie expecting it to be just a fun summer romp. It's not going to be too deep. The CG isn't going to be the greatest. It's not terrible, but again, it's, it's not the best. And at least you're going to get some solid acting performances from virtually everyone in the cast. And one plus about the rating that it does have, I'm sure that helps it draw in a bigger audience being PG-13. Because honestly, yeah, if you have a teenager or even a preteen, you can probably take your kid to see this movie and it won't haunt their dreams at night like a Jaws type movie would. 
And that's my time, people. Hopefully you guys like the review. Hopefully you guys like the new lighting. And I got the white background instead of the black background. And all the pretty sexy goodness. If you did, please be sure to hook your boy up with that likeity like like button. And of course, if you like all the chocolatey goodness, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Real Cool Dude, R-E-E-L Cool Dude. Y'all know the deal. My real cool people, you guys are wonderful. Thanks for going down this movie review journey with me. Until next time, it's your boy David, the real cool dude. Keep it real. Hollywood like out here living the dream. I'm the chocolate man who loves silver screens. Giving movie reviews is the thing I do, cause I'm the real cool dude. <laughs>